Hello, hi, I'm Yvonne and thank you for joining me. Today we're just going to do a short enough class helping to strengthen the legs, open up the legs, open up the side body. So to get started, we'll begin by standing. So just coming into Tadasana, bringing the big toes together and just rooting down through the base of the big toe and the base of the little toe and through the center of both heels. Draw the kneecaps up, engage the quad muscle, engage your core, draw the shoulders back, standing up nice and tall. You take your hands out to the sides. On an inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, we'll come into our first forward fold. Bend the knees here if you need to. Inhale, take your hands to the shins and come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, rise up, take the arms with you overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands back to the heart. And we'll go again, inhaling, circling the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head, inhale here, halfway lift lengthening through the spine exhale fold again over the legs inhale rise circle the arms overhead exhale hands back to the heart and one more inhale arms coming up exhale take the arms out to the sides and folding forwards inhale halfway lift exhale both hands down Inhale, rise, reach through the middle fingers especially and exhale, hands back to the heart. Starting in our lunge salutation, inhale, arms floating up. Exhale, hinge at the hips here as you fold forwards. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Those of you who are a bit more open in the back of the legs, you maybe like to take the fingertips to the floor. Exhale, we'll step the left foot back behind, left knee lowers down. On an inhale, we'll take the arms up, opening the front body. Exhale, take both hands down. Lift the back knee, step the right foot back. Coming into our first downward dog. So just here, just easing your way back into it. You can start with knees bent, looking for nice long length in the spine. So lifting the hips up towards the sky. Then you can start to pedal the feet. Just lowering one heel down and then the other. Then inhale, look forward. Exhale, we'll step the left foot forward. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, we'll take the arms up. Exhale, release the hands. Pick up the right knee, stepping it up to meet the left foot. Inhale here, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, rise up. Arms coming up overhead. Exhale, hands back to the heart. And again, inhale. Arms sweeping up. Exhale, hinge of the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Fingertips to the floor, bend the knees, step the right foot back. Right knee lowers down. Ground down through that left foot. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands coming down. Lift the right knee, step the left foot back. Downward dog again. So moving back into your downward dog. Pedal the feet here if you still feel a little bit tight in the back of the legs. Press down through the hands. On your next inhale, looking forward between the hands. And on the exhale, we'll step the right foot up. Left knee lowers down. This time, ground down through the right foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Pick up the left knee. Left foot steps up to meet the right. Inhale here, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. When you come into your forward fold, allow the head and the neck to relax. 
Inhale, rise up. Keep the legs strong as you lift up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands back to the heart. Inhaling, circling the arms up. Exhaling forward fold. Lead with the chest here as you come into your forward fold. You can bend the knees always. Inhale, chest comes forward. You look forward. Exhale, both hands down. Step both feet back. Engage the core here. Inhale, we'll come to a high plank. So shoulders over the wrists. Let's hold this for a couple of breaths. So here when we're in our high plank, we're looking for straight line from the back of the shoulders. Well, it's an angled line, but from the back of the shoulders all the way to the back of the heels. On your next exhale, lower down knees, bend the elbows, lower all the way down to the floor hands beneath the shoulders. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Lift the kneecaps. Draw the shoulders back. On your next inhale, begin to peel the chest. Look, a mini cobra here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, coming up again. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Keep the shoulders down from the ears. Elbows drawn into the side body, exhaling, lower down. Curl the toes under, press into the hands and lift up and back for downward facing dog. We're going to hold downward dog for a few breaths. Check in with your hands here, the base of the index finger and the thumbs rooting down into the mat. And then the upper arm, see so can you get an upward or an outward rotation of the upper, upper arms. And then squeezing the arms towards each other, towards the midline. On your next inhale, looking forward between the hands. And on the exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up. Inhale here, long spine. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Inhale, rise up. Circle the arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands back to the heart. Release the hands down for a moment. You can take them onto the waist. On an inhale, we'll lift the left leg up first. So you're just balancing here for a moment. Seeing can you get that left thigh parallel to the floor. And then on your next exhale, we'll take that left leg back behind. So you come onto the ball of the left foot. And you can come a little bit out of that right leg, straightening it. On an inhale, release the hands, inhale, lifting them up overhead. Exhale, begin to bend the right knee. We're sinking into our high lunge here. And we want to just check here that the right knee stays above the right ankle. And we're working towards getting that right thigh parallel to the floor, but just go with what you can. On the left leg, we want to work towards straightening that left leg. Press out through the heel of the left foot. And take a few breaths here. Sharpen the arms. On your next exhale, take the hands either side of that front foot. Step the right foot back. Now here, inhale to plank. Exhale, lowering down to the floor. Chaturanga, if you are ready. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step the left forward between, left foot between the hands. So you come onto the ball of the right foot. On an inhale, we'll lift up. You can take your hands down by your sides. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bend the left knee. So the left knee comes above the left ankle. Now we're rooting down through the left foot and then pressing out through the right heel. Sharpen the arms again. Few breaths here in the high lunge.
on your next exhale, take the hands down. Either side of the left foot, step the left foot back. Inhale to plank, exhale, lowering down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Shoulders moving back. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Few breaths here in downward dog. So once you get the length in the spine, thinking about moving the tops of the thighs back. On your next inhale, looking forward, exhale, we'll step the right foot forward. Rise up again, high lunge, lift the arms to, exhale, take the hands to the hips, and we'll just move that back foot in and lower the back heel down. So the right foot is pointing forward, the back foot is turned a little bit out to the side of the mat. Now here we want to get our hip points pointing forward, so if it means taking that back foot a little bit wider, go for it. We're going to take the arms behind the body, so either holding on to either elbow or some people might like to do reversed prayer. So we take the palms of the hands together, point fingers pointing downwards, and then you work the hands up the back. So setting the feet up, grounding down through both feet, lift both kneecaps. So the legs are strong. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest. On an inhale, we lift up, looking up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, coming forward, folding over that front leg. Now just stop at the point where your torso is parallel to the floor. Keep drawing the shoulders back. If you're in reverse prayer, pressing the hands into each other. If you're holding the elbows, just seeing can you, or, or even the forearms, you see can you pull the forearms apart? Well, not really do it, just to have that action. Breath or two more here. On your next inhale, press strongly into both feet, rising up, exhaling, releasing the arms. And then we'll step the left foot forward, take the right foot back. So lower that right heel down, turn the right foot out, and then just have your feet in a stance wide enough so that the hip points can be pointing towards the top of your mat. Again, taking the hands back behind you. So holding on to the elbows or the forearms or taking the hands into reverse prayer. Draw the shoulders back, lift the kneecaps, Inhale here, open the chest. Exhale, lead with the sternum as you come forward. Holding over the front leg. Keep drawing back with the shoulders. Think about the shoulder blades moving towards each other. Pressing the palms of the hands into each other if you're in reverse prayer position. On your next inhale, lifting up and exhale, releasing the hands. Some of you might like to do a little bit of wrist therapy here. So for a moment, we'll just circle the wrists one way and then circle them the other way. Good. A little bit of stretching out for the both sides of the forearm. So we press the right hand away drawing the fingers back towards you. And then we'll change the other way so the fingers are going downwards, looking for a little lengthening on the top of the forearm. And then we'll go the other hand. So pressing the left hand away, the left arm is straight. And then lower the fingers down and then releasing there. Let's step the feet out wide. So you're gonna turn your right foot towards the top of the mat, the left foot turned in somewhat. On an inhale, we'll take the arms up. Exhale, bend the right leg. We we'll bring the right knee just above the right ankle, warrior two. 
Make sure this back leg is working. So lifting the kneecap and the left leg. And then taking your gaze out beyond the middle finger of the right hand. Taking a few breaths here. Pressing both feet strongly into the floor and almost like you want to stretch the mat apart between the feet. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg and then some of you might want to bring that back foot in a little bit more. We're coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. I like to get my stance just a little bit uh, narrower for triangle. Lift both kneecaps and then allow the hips to shift to the left reach forward as far as you can to the right then you take your right hand down to the shin or the ankle lifting the top arm up now here with each exhale see can you open lift the chest a little bit more up towards the sky make sure both legs are still working kneecaps lifted maybe take your gaze up to that top hand just as long as there's no strain on the neck One more breath here. Take your gaze back towards the side. On your next inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, release. And we'll turn to the other side. On an inhale, we'll take the arms up. Exhale, sorry. And then we'll turn to the other side. Left foot pointing towards the back of the mat now. Right foot turned in slightly. Arch in line with the instep. Inhale, we'll take the arms up. Exhale, bend that left leg. Warrior two again. So here we wanna keep the hips underneath the shoulders or the shoulders above the hips. So just be careful that you're not leaning forward like so. Sometimes we do, we could do the poses just in front of a mirror, just checking, making sure that that's, the alignment is correct. Sharpen out through the arms. On your next inhale, straightening that left leg. Maybe scoot the back foot in a little bit. Let, uh, lift both kneecaps. On your next exhale, allow the hips to shift to the right reach forward with the left to the left and then taking that left hand down to the shin or the ankle lift the right arm up towards the sky opening out the chest and staying here in triangle for a few more breaths Taking your gaze back towards the side on your next inhale, lifting up, exhale, lower the arms down. So we'll heel toe our feet back in towards each other and we'll come into, well, we'll lift the right leg to begin with. You're going to take the ankle of the right foot, you're going to flex that right foot and you place it just above the left knee. You're going to take the hands to the heart here. And on your next exhale, begin to bend the left leg, coming into what we call eagle prep. So keep flexing that right foot. Lift the chest here. But at the same time, when you lift the chest, lower the tailbone down towards the floor. Fixing your gaze on a still point. This helps for the balance poses. On your next inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing the right foot down. So we'll take the left foot this time. Take the left ankle just above the right knee. Flex the left foot. Take the hands to the heart. On your next exhale, bending the right leg. Eagle prep. 
So lifting the chest here again. Making sure the core is engaged, belly button drawn in towards the spine. And one more breath here. Inhale, coming up, exhale, releasing. We'll take the right leg up, oops, <laughs> getting the balance. So we're gonna place all the balance on the left foot, lifting the right leg back. So we take a hold of the right ankle, drawing it in towards the right sit bone. We can stay here for a moment. So looking for stretch on the quad muscles. So sometimes they call this baby dancer. So to come into full dancer's pose, you take your hand to the inside of that right ankle, lift the left arm up, then we'll lean forward, so folding the front of the body forward. And then perhaps we'd like to press that right ankle into the right hand and lifting the heel away from the right sit bone. Again, fixing your gaze on a still point. And then coming back up to standing, release that right leg and we'll go the other side. So all the weight on the right foot, we we'll take the left leg, begin with our baby dancer pose so just stretching the left quad you can take your hand your right hand onto your hip it might help for balance so just standing up tall here and then maybe to come into the full dancer well a version of full dancer we take the hand to the inside of the left ankle lift the right arm up on an inhale and then begin to fold on the exhale. And then we'll take the left heel away from the left sit bone, pressing that left ankle into the hand to help you open out more. Again, fixing your gaze on a still point. On your next inhale, coming up and exhaling, releasing down. So we'll come to lying down on the mat now. Lying down on your back. And you can walk your feet in towards you, your heels. Begin with the arms down by the sides. Keep the feet and the knees hip width distance apart. And we'll work with the breath here up and down two times to bridge. So on an inhale, begin to peel the back off the floor, lift the hips up and exhale, lower back down. Inhale, rise up again and exhaling, lower down. So now you can continue to do this up and down with the breath if you wish, or you might like to come up and stay up for a few breaths. So if you'd like to do that on your next inhale, peeling the back off the floor, the hips come up. Maybe here you'd like to roll your shoulders under. You can see, can you grab the hands, interlace the fingers underneath you? If you're doing, if you're able to do this, just pressing the sides of the arms and the sides of the finger, the little fingers into the floor to help you lift up a little bit more. Squeeze the glutes here, but just be careful that when you squeeze that the knees don't splay out to the sides. Try to have almost like an inward rotation of the thighs to help prevent that. And it's the chest moving towards the chin, not the chin towards the chest. So one more breath here if you're able. And then undo the hands, undo the shoulders. On your next exhale, lowering down. Walk your feet to the outside edge of the mat. 
allow the knees to fall towards each other and just rest here for a moment just allowing the body to recover And when you're ready, you can just turn onto your side. We're just going to come up to sitting. So you turn onto your side, use your top arm, press it into the floor to help you up. We'll come into a, a seated twist. So you lengthen out through the left leg, you bend the right leg. Maybe you'd like to cross that right leg over. Flex the left foot. The left toes coming up towards the sky. Take the right hand behind you. On an inhale here, lengthen up through the spine. So you're sitting up nice and tall. And then on the exhale, you're twisting to the right. So you're turning your torso to the right. Here, you can either hug the knee or some of you, if you're a little bit more open, you can take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And stay here for a few breaths. So work with the breath here in the pose. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, maybe coming into the twist a little bit more. You could possibly turn your head to look behind you, just as long as there's no issues with the neck. On your next inhale, take your gaze back forwards. Exhale, undo the twist. So I'll just turn around so I can still face you, but we're changing over. It's the right leg that's outstretched now. Left leg is bent. Cross the left leg over. Flex the right toes. Take your left hand behind you now. Inhale, we'll sit up tall. Exhale, twisting the torso to the left. So here we're looking for the twist around kind of like the bra line, like the mid of the back up. So not down at the lower back. Take the elbow to the outside of the knee if, if it's accessible to you. And then maybe taking your gaze back behind you. On your next inhale, take your gaze forwards. Exhale, undo the twist. Good and you can uncross the legs. We lower back down onto the back. Draw the knees in towards the chest. A little rock from side to side. Lower the left leg down and just flex that left foot, so the left toes up towards the sky. Hug the right knee in towards your chest for a moment. And now we're going to see just gently drawing that right knee, not draw, pulling on the ankle, but just drawing that right knee towards the left shoulder in that direction. And then releasing that right leg back, lower the right foot down. This time we'll draw the left knee in towards the chest, slide the right leg away, flex the right foot. And then drawing the left knee towards the right shoulder. And then we'll bring the left leg back, lower the left foot down, the right foot. Now draw both knees in, but we're going to keep them wide. Then you're going to lift the feet up towards the sky. Maybe taking a hold here of the shins, the ankles, or if you can reach for the feet or even the toes, the big toes. Take a hold of the big toes if you can with the index finger and the middle finger. Wrap your fingers around them. And then just begin to draw the feet down towards you. Allow the knees to stay, stay wide. So happy baby pose.
and then releasing, drawing the legs back towards each other. One last hug. And then we'll prepare for Shavasana. So you can wrap up if you like, put on an extra layer or a blanket. And the setup for Shavasana, allowing the feet to be a little bit wider than the hips, allow the feet to fall out to the sides, the arms out from the side body, palms of the hands turned up. And then you rest, just find a comfortable position for your head, you stay down. Comfortable position for your head. And then you can close down the eyes. I want you to stay here for as long as you can. Five minutes if you can, 10 minutes, maybe even longer. I'm gonna leave you here now. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.